Okay, in a continuation of the theme, in this example we're doing something similar, but we have some nesting. So we have an outer for loop, and it's going to generate a random number five different times. You know, the sentinel value is as long as x is less than five. And for each of those random numbers generated, it's going to give the player three guesses in the inner for loop. So every time the outer for loop iterates once, the inner for loop will iterate three times. And the decision structures are about the same, the logic. So let's take a look at this. And again, I'll just kind of scroll slowly through the code. It's not that much different than what we've been doing, other than we've just added some nesting. So now we can have five separate numbers and three guesses for each of those five separate numbers. So let's go ahead and run this. And I'll drag this up here. And I'll start in the middle. And guess the number between 1 and 10 is pretty easy. So that's kind of why I picked that as the range. But a number is larger. Let's go 7. number is larger. Let's go 9. number is larger. The number was 10. Well, I didn't get it that time. So number 2. 